Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Career Q, a place to curate your career. So recently I've been hearing a lot about you know you guys getting uh, the LOI and then you're getting a rejection emails. So in today's video I'm going to discuss about it you know in which situations you can expect this to happen and what you can do from your end as a candidate to avoid such things. So before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, do subscribe. Without further ado, let's Firstly, get started. Firstly, I would say that uh, I was genuinely very shocked because this is something very new that uh, Capgemini is doing. You know, they have never really done this of sending the LOI and then, uh, you know, rejecting candidates or sending this rejection emails. So, but uh, however, there is one thing that you should always keep in mind and this is something that I've discussed in my previous videos as well, but I'm again repeating it that, you know, getting an LOI from Capgemini does not really guarantee that you will get the offer letter. Okay. This is something that is written there in the LOI that you sign and you upload. Okay. If you have not seen, if you have not read, then if you could see on the screen, I have showed the picture. Uh, it clearly states in its LOI that, you know, if something goes wrong if in future, it finds out something about you that you know maybe you have uh, said wrongly or you have stated wrongly and it finds something like that you can be rejected anytime okay it uh, getting an LOI nowhere guarantees that you're getting this job so uh, I have said this before as well and I'm said and, and I'm telling this to you again just because you have received an LOI from Capgemini please don't stop your job search uh, keep looking for new opportunities and if you get one to get you know you can actually hold multiple offers with you and then you can decide at a later point which one you want to join okay this is again one of the very big doubts that I have seen people face which is that uh, you know I have signed the bond agreement and I have sent all my documents can I join somewhere else till the date you are onboarded okay you have joined an organization and you have onboarded you have attended those onboarding sessions you know till then you are not bound to any organization you know till your joining day until the time you have joined in you can you are free to join any organization so it is okay to keep multiple offers in hand and then you selecting a particular organization rather the other way around okay so getting back to the point as i was saying giving an uh, getting an loi does not really mean that you will be getting the offer letter uh, it solely depends on the fact that your background verification was complete and everything was found okay during your background verification so what i would suggest that as a candidate you need to make sure is that you upload the correct certificates okay firstly upload the correct certificates whatever they have asked for mark sheets certificates uh, your aadhar pan your address proof all only those documents which they consider as valid address proof you need to uh, you need to upload them okay try to keep these basic things that you can do from your end as clean as possible okay don't uh don't lie anywhere that you have this GPA when your GPA is something else or you have scored this percentage when your percentage is something else because you know everything everything is calculated everything is checked and uh, that is why the background verification actually takes that much of time because they check each and every point each and every mark sheet of every semester whatever they have asked you to upload they check everything okay so uh, try to make your background verification as clear and you know as uh, as clear as possible from your end at least so so that you know your joining or your offer letter doesn't get stuck because of your background verification because they, they found some foul play or something like that so try to avoid these things that is one thing that you can do as a candidate okay second thing that you need to take care about is you know the adapt training okay so okay here also for the adapt training i will do i will definitely do a video of it very very soon but just to give a glimpse capgemini takes adapt really seriously and you know your marks very seriously in the adapt training so please try to uh, complete the adapt training with the um, in the given deadline that they have provided to you and you know try passing those tests if you have somehow failed uh, in one of the tests and there is a retest then try passing the retest okay because uh, you know a Adapt is something that Capgemini is very serious about and deadlines are also something that Capgemini is very serious about. So you need to also take care about the deadline, you know, within the time uh, you were allotted, you need to complete it. You have to extend, you know, you cannot really give excuses that I was doing this, I was here, I didn't check, I forgot. You know, these things don't work when it comes to the corporate sector. So you need to uh, work upon that and you need to be attentive and proactive in completing those things and, uh, you know, maintaining everything within the deadline. Okay, uh, I know 
it's a bit difficult for the engineering attitude that we have of studying one night prior to the exam but you know that's how it is and that's how you need to go if you want your offer letter to come so the second uh, very important thing that you need to take care about is the um, the adapt training that capgemini tells you to undergo uh, in this again there is one uh, issue or one uh, doubt that many of you have is that you have not right, not yet received your adapt training so let me tell you that there are multiple bus within capgemini B by bu i mean business units okay so there are some business units that don't give adapt training to their candidates for them it is something different so they uh, which is not there in the adapt so they don't really give adapt training to those candidates who are belonging to that BU okay so in my batch also we almost all of us had but there were these five or six students who belong to a, uh, a particular BU which who were not none of them were given this adapt training they did not know about it at all okay if you have not received then you shouldn't panic because just because you're hearing about it uh, from everyone it is something that uh, you know uh, it is given to certain business units and it's something that not given to certain business units so uh, not not to worry about it but for those who have received this adapt training you need to take it very very seriously uh, the third thing that i would say is that if you think that you have you know found see uh, one thing that i would say is that uh, this is something really new and something really absurd that i'm hearing and it has not been heard before okay so i mean uh, background verification uh, you know something going wrong and those kind of things that will be happening to one or two of you but not really a large audience as much as i have been hearing of getting rejection emails so definitely i think that there is some glitch see i'm not from the inside and i'm not and when i was inside i do not belong to the hr or the recruiting team so i really don't know how the process goes or what they check but what i can say for sure is that we after one year we received the same loi and the same uh, offer letter and everything because there was some technical glitch in uh, you know the, the those servers that are there so it might be a result of some technical glitch as well i'm not very sure about this but it can be a result of some technical glitch also so if you think that you have completed all your assessments and all your adapt training and everything you have completed on time and you know there is nothing from your end that uh, you uh, that you can think about which can go wrong because of which you are getting this rejection email then you can go and question them back that why you are receiving it okay so again what i would say is that i have shared the email ids now again here comes another point that a lot of you are saying that they uh, you know you are not getting the responses see guys there are a lot of you okay a lot of you are sending them mails about your queries on regular basis so you need to understand that you know the people who are responding they are also humans and they can miss okay so you know if you have uh, sent one email just don't uh, let it be okay send reminder one reminder two do follow ups with the recruiter or with those on those emails only do follow ups I am saying this because these email IDs are not something that you know that are not working. They are working, and I have received the responses from these email IDs itself when I was uh, about to join CG. Uh, I would say that these email IDs, please try to follow up, and you will definitely hear back from them. It might take some time, maybe one week, ten days. Give them that time. Try. Uh, reaching out to them on regular basis and you will hear back from them definitely so what i was saying is that if you are sure that you have completed everything and you have uh, provided all the correct information and you know there is nothing that you can think about which can go wrong or is nothing that you know that you have uh, stated wrongly you can put them or you can uh, tell them on the on your mail about this thing and they will definitely revert back okay so all i would want to say is that don't panic with getting the rejection emails uh, you know firstly loi is not a guaranteed document about the offer letter secondly uh, adapt training very very important and thirdly you can send mails and you can question them about these rejection emails okay so last but not the least i would still uh, again uh, recommend and stress upon the fact that you know please don't stick with one organization please sit for other organizations exams uh, high re recruiting exams and everything and try to grab as many opportunities or as many job offers as you can it becomes easier for you to get hold of a job when you have multiple offers in hand okay so that's all that i had in today's video for you if you have any other queries that you want me to discuss 
put them down in the comments and i will definitely have a look and i'll try to respond to each and every one of you if you like today's session put a thumbs up and if you've not yet subscribed do subscribe to the channel that was career q until next time take care bye bye